We're going to spend a few minutes today talking about a 2016 year in review, but this is something we encourage you to do on your farm. Really review everything you did in 2016. What can you learn from that and how can you make improvements going into 2017? All right, let's start with seed treatments. There are a lot of new seed treatments out there for sudden death syndrome, for yep. uh, nematode control. Also looking at things like uh, biological products that can help improve root growth and, and just plant yield overall. Well, here's the whole thing in 2016. What we learned from a lot of those new trials is not much because sudden death wasn't as bad. Cis nematode didn't seem to be as bad. Uh, some of the seed treatments didn't perform as, as well as they had in prior years because in many areas where the trials were being run, there was amazing weather. So that kind of took over and we didn't have all the stress that we normally do. Well, it's just like we always say, if you only have one stress in the field, it doesn't hurt you much. So if your only stress is cis nematode and everything else is perfect, well, it's not nearly as big a deal. All right, the other thing is just looking at the average over a period of years and making your seed treatment decisions. Yeah, if you had a 10 bushel gain one year and a two bushel gain the next, uh, all right, well, if two doesn't pay, yep. but 10 pays really, really well, look at over a period of years what the average we is. We still think these are some nice tools and good new products, things like Olivo, for example. All right, how about weed control? Because we see a lot more resistant weeds out there. Yeah, but you know what? I, I've, I drove in so many different states in 2016 and I saw pretty decent weed control in a lot of fields. Now, certainly not perfect, but here's, here's the big key. Use good pre-emerge herbicides and multiple modes of action pre. That really worked in 2016. I mean, it was amazing. But kill the weeds in your ditches and fence lines. That was horrible in 2016, and it was the worst I've ever seen in my life. So kill the weeds in your fence lines and ditches. That'll help reduce the weed pressure in your field. Yeah, the other thing is just crop canopy. If we didn't have great crop canopy this year, we saw a lot of late season weed breaks in certain areas. So do everything you can to have a good crop canopy in your fields. All right, how about bugs, Brian? Because a lot it was of a guys- a low bug pressure year. A lot of guys went with less traits this year, especially in yep. corn and got by with it in many cases. Well, in some cases, but there were some really good yields and there were some downfalls. Some guys had lodging problems. Some guys didn't get the yield they thought, especially when we talk continuous corn, you need the rootworm trait and the BT post-emerge or BT foliar, it doesn't cost much, so I think that's still a pretty good way to go. One of the things that stood out to me, I was in Illinois in September, and guys that sprayed a late foliar application of fungicide in corn, not just at tassel time, but another one even later, picked up another 20 or 30 bushels this year, basically due to late season gray leaf spot uh, showing well, up in corn. Yeah, just when we talk about that disease thing in general, I would say this. Fungicide prices came way down. Even so, we didn't see as many people spray fungicide as we thought would. When it's dirt cheap, when it's three to five dollars an acre, why are you not spraying fungicide? That's what I don't get. So I would really encourage you to take a look going into 2017. There's some inexpensive options that are excellent. And this year you missed out on some yield if you didn't get those diseases under control. All right, fertilizer prices came back down a little a bit, lot. Brian. Uh, what a else lot. did you see change in fertilizer? Well, the big thing is more people are soil testing, more people are doing plant tissue analysis, and that's the key. If you have data, you can make better decisions with your fertilizer dollar. Well, lots of things happened in 2016. You got to learn from those lessons to make 2017 even better. One last thing I guess I'd say, tile really paid in 2016. We talked to a lot of farmers that put tile on the ground. It paid off in one year because there were a lot of big rains in a lot of areas in the United States. Well, one thing that pays off every year is getting our Weed of the Week under control. We'll show you how to do just that coming up next.